death by choking, pneumonia or whatever it called, your lungs filled with your own juice. Basically, you're drowned inside out. Meanwhile, people didn't listen. They still exposing themselves to the world. Damn exhibitions. Imagine one of your family got corona, then die, then you mourn. You develop some kind of grudge against corona. Then you see others are being a dumb dumb jumping straight to corona pool, then comes out from there, shaking hands with others. How do you feel? It hurts to the bone, but buddy, respect. Do the respect. Stay home, you narcissistic extroverts. Um, t- talking about respect, what I'm about to say is not gonna be respectful. You know about asphyxia fetish, asphyxiophilia. Um, an asphyxiophil is a person who likes to be suffocated. Does actually a lot more people secretly has this? So they low key want to get corona. No, no, th- that's too risky even for a dumbo. You can choke yourself in a much easier way. You don't need corona and its other symptoms. But maybe that is exactly the point. If you are professional enough at asphyxiophilia, you may have tried lots of ways, but never from pneumonia. It's the golden chance. It's it's amazing. The meaning of life will finally be unfilled. Oh well, at least they are going to die happily, peaceful. How many people do you know have the opportunity to die peacefully? It's one way to finish their life satisfyingly. You cannot judge them, right? No, I don't think that that many people are an asphyxiophil. No, it can be right, R- right? No, I refuse to believe that lot of people is a complete dumb dumb. I- they sure believe Corona is a real deal, but if they are isolated, they can go to work, they can make money. Now things get a little bit more complicated. To Corona or not to Corona, they are as good as dead if that is the case. It's understandable this way, right? Um, so everything goes naturally. That's strange. All the dum dums, the evil, the good. The scene you found this world is all natural. Um, to not, I'm not speaking in a religious way. I will never do such thing. Thinking of it this way makes me feel peaceful. It's like there is nothing wrong to the world while it obviously is strange. This is dangerous. This peace I'm feeling is gonna prevent me from doing anything to fix the wrongs. Not like I'm gonna do anything either way. So, constant stress is a motivation that forces you to go forward. Disgusting. This is an unhealthy motivation. Motivation should be filled with positive energy. For example, give yourself some hot chocolate after finish some shoe. Or hot tea. Anything you like. But hey, if positive energy meets negative energy, there will be an electric charge. <sighs> it's not funny. Uh, where where I've been? Motivation. People need motivation. And motivation need people. To make people stay at home, there is some motivation needed. That's why YouTube is spreading stay at home with me tag as if your luxury is enough to be able to only stay at home. Let's say your work can be done online. And now you can make any money. You still have debt and rent to pay. In approximately next month, you won't have a single penny for a slice of bean. Things are going to be bloody. The only motivation left is morality. <laughs> We're doomed, people. There will be death. Death everywhere. Your chair won't help you. Your fetish may help you. <laughs> the good thing is, you know it's a good time to write a letter. It's a good time to see that dusty album for the last time. This is too pessimistic. This might cause depression. Is it? Um, no, I think not. I think this will actually make you relieve somehow. It's nice and warm and all fluff. Peaceful. 
This is dangerous, damn it. This makes me remember what my friend once said. Um, context first, this friend of mine is an extremely cautious perfectionist. He is a boy, by the way, and still in high school at that time. When talking about a rumor with me, he will literally take me to an unused room at the school on the third floor, which is a very quiet floor, often with zero people there, which is only makes us look more suspicious. He carries a lens in his school bag just in case he found a photograph worthy thing. He carries a cutter knife behind his sock everywhere, even in his low criminal red neighborhood. Most of all, he brings a small portable umbrella every day, even though it is especially small and portable. What kind of schizophrenic Mongolian homo sapiens brings a freaking umbrella every day in this 21st century society? I, I said to him, is there anything you want going to prepare? He replied, a coffin. Gotta admit, it's a pretty cool phrase. What I'm trying to point out is, instead of letting the sweet death comes, come Suze Toad. How about let's fight it like a real badass video game character. Can't work? Have no money? Let's murder someone else and rob their foods. You will stay alive for a little longer this way. Huzzah! <sighs> that is one way to deal with the outbreak. You people who is lucky enough to be able to stay at home peacefully should start to make a defense strategy too. But it's already 3 am so maybe you should just start it tomorrow or later. So subscribe and good night, you dum dum.